Hey, how is it going guys? Today I'd like to show you how to install Prey on Linux. So the native Prey client on Linux. All right, so let's start here. You need two things. The first one is the Prey installer. The second is the actual game, all right? And the actual game can be on CD or DVD, the Steam version, or else. And they say else because the game is not available anymore on Steam. So you need to buy it from, I mean, the Steam key. You need to buy the Steam key from some key reseller somewhere. So it's up to you. Anyway, you can find it. You can find the game on internet. I'm going to use this one to, to show you how to install and run the game. So if you have the CD or DVD version, you can install it straight by running the pre-installer. If you're using Steam, you need to install the Wine version with Wine. So you need to use Wine also. Or you can install it in Linux. I mean, you can install the Windows, Prey Windows version on Linux by using Steam command, which is a software that I'm going to do a video later about it. So that you bypass Wine, okay? My method, the only way is to use Wine, so I'm going to show you how to use, how to install it by installing it with Wine first. Okay, that's it. So, first we want to download the installer. So you want to head to iculus.org slash pray. Iculus is the guy who made uh, the installer, who ported the game. So you can we can download the retail version. I'm not going to talk about the demo. You can also try out the demo version to see how it runs and etc. before maybe buy it or uh, from Steam or the CD DVD. It's up to you. I'm going to select the retail version so I can download here the pre-installer. I already downloaded it. I don't need it to download anymore. Then you want actually to make it executable so ch mode plus x to make it executable and then the installer which is pray installer.bin i think i have Oop. first i need to remove the gain that i already installed okay you can skip this passage by the way so when the installer it, it is executable you can run it if you have the cd version Okay, CD or DVD version, accept the agreement here, select a destination, language, and then you can insert the disk, CDs or DVD, whatever. And then the game will be installed and you will be ready to play it. As I said, I don't own the CD, so I'm going to actually install from a binary I found on the internet. This is the same for Steam, okay? So first you need to install the window version and then run the pre-installer, which will uh, install the Linux version by copying the file that you just installed with the, in the window version. Okay, to do so, first I need to mount the image that I downloaded, which is downloads, pray, Pray.iso, I want to mount it on media, let's say. That's it. Now I want to create a wine prefix and I want to run the, the setup.exe, the executable to install the game. You can also use Play on Linux, but by the way, wine is just way, way, way faster than Play on Linux. So in one command, I create a yeah, 64 bit. Actually, you can create 32 b 64 bit it won't change because in my case i'm not able to run the 64 bit version but i can just run the um, 32 bit version so i'm going to create a 32 bit wine prefix wine prefix equal home wine prefix where i normally store all my prefixes and then pray then I want to run wine and I want to run the media and as you can see here 
I have this setup that this is the image that I just mounted there is the setup here okay by running this command I create 32-bit one prefix called pray and I'm going to run the setup so play your Linux you'll need to create this create there click here click there here is just a command I have nothing against Play Your Linux by the way it's just pointing this out okay and you want to select a language English is fine next I want to skip the program file directory I want just to install it after the C drive so C pray not C program files and pray next there is a game resolution patch here you may not have this and uh, I'm not gonna install it I'm going to show you later how to change the resolution next I don't care about start menu folder couldn't care less about the desktop desktop icon I can run the installer right now as you can see it's very fast okay I don't care about DirectX because this game uses OpenGL this is based on the same uh, engine as Doom 3 so it's based on OpenGL okay that's it the game was successfully installed using Wine right now I want to run the preinstaller with this option okay so from install and media so preinstaller from install media and then you want to go where you just download where you just install the the game so for me it's wine prefix pray drive c pray and then you want to select the base folder okay press enter you have to accept the license select a destination pray is fine English is fine and then it's going to install the native version which are some libraries some executable and the game binaries from the Steam version from the Windows version this is the same for Steam for yeah, if you have Steam version this is the same you may have installed it somewhere else but as I said if you have the Steam version install it with wine or with Steam command so you don't need to use wine and then just redirect the installer with these two options to where the pray slash base folder is base contains all the the game uh, files the most important files let's say actually I already did a video comparing wine and the native version and I had the wine version actually running a little bit better but anyway maybe different if you're using Nvidia I'm using AMD so maybe that's why I don't really know actually finish so right now I'm going to show you that I can remove the the wine prefix that I just installed okay so the game the Windows game installed with wine because I don't need it anymore so wine prefix pray that's it so the game is gone I just have the native version right now under the pray folder CD LS okay as you can see here is the base folder before running the game for the first time you want to actually modify the resolution okay because it's going to start like 800 per 600 something like that I have a 1080p monitor as you can see from the video 
and I want to start at 10 ETP. So to do so, I'm going to tweakguides.com website where there is a very good prey tweak uh, guide. You can read it, introduction, so if you have some problem with your game, you want to tweak it to run it faster, you can check this guide. I will leave, by the way, everything in the description. I want to go to page 8, Advanced Tweakings. And actually, there is a, there is a config file which is called default.conf. I'm going to show you. LS space. As you can see here, default.conf. You can try to modify this file, but it probably it won't work. If so, you actually need to base. You now actually need to copy it and create one called autoexec.config or preconfig. I guess it's the same. Okay, that's it. Now you can, as you can see, there it is. Now you can just modify the autoexec.config and then it will start properly. So with all your tweaks and resolution, vsync, anything uh, else that you just modified. All right. What you need is I'm going to page nine. First, you want to maybe read here, set and set a usage rules. And then you want to these three variables. The first one is error mode, and you want less one. So less one, minus one, sorry. Minus one means that the resolution is going to be custom. Okay. And then you can set custom height and custom width. And then you are able to run at your uh, native resolution. There is also maybe... No, that's it. Okay. After you run the first time, the game is actually going to create the save files and the config files, which are going to be stored on the dot .pray folder. So not pray where the game is installed, but dot .pray. Okay. As you can see here, I just have the base and doesn't have all this because it's another four. There is a dot here. So, ls base. As you can see here, I have the pre config. And this is good. The game is going to read this config file after you run it for the first time. Okay. And here you have all your save game. ls base save games as you can see here you have all your save games actually if you're also using uh, wine or let's say that you first played a little bit with wine and you want to continue by running the native the save a moment uh, moment here auto save okay as you can see the save game for the Wine version, so the Windows version, are in Documents, My Games, Prey. While for the native version, as I showed you before, are in .pray, Base, Save Games. So the same directory just changes here, Documents, My Games, Prey. As you can see here, the, the autosaves, the saving, uh, they have the same extension, so they are interchangeable, I guess. Okay, as you can see here, last call, the last call. So if you want to continue, just copy all these files from the Wine version to the native version or uh, the other way. It's up to you. So as, as I said before, I deleted the Wine prefix, but in any case, the save and the configuration file, they're going to stay there because they are saved elsewhere. Okay, right now I can run the game. So CD pray and I'm going to run this 32-bit version I'm going to show you why because if I run the pray it's not gonna start maybe I have something wrong here SDL I'm I still have to check why it's not running anyway it's app it happens also if you have a if you set up a um, 
64-bit WAM prefix or a 32-bit WAM prefix. To me, just fail to start. Anyway, the prey.x86 run just fine. As you can see, it started 1080p and I can resume the game. And then you are able to run your game natively on Linux. As I show you, take this ball. As I said before, I don't. I deleted the original wine prefix. As you can see, you don't need that anymore. The game runs just fine. It has been installed natively on another directory. Ooh. Leave me alone. As you can see, the game runs fine. That's it. The game is great. It's really... It has a great story. I still have to finish it. But it runs great. And you can find pretty cheap, I guess, the CD and DVD version. And hopefully we'll get... Uh, we'll be able to find it back on Steam. Maybe not. But hopefully. Alright. That's it. I show you everything. As I said, I'm going to make another video if you want to use... If you have the Steam version and you want to use Steam command, which bypasses uh, Wine, so you don't need to use Wine to install the game. It's a great piece of software. I'm going to show you later how to use it. So you can download from Linux, okay, some uh, Windows game straight through Steam from the command line. All right, that's it. Hope it was helpful and clear enough. Let me know in the comments. And I'll see you in the next time, guys. Bye-bye.